Here we have a 1951 Nash Rambler station wagon made into a street rod. This car is very interesting and cool. Um, this was built on a Chevy S10 platform. Uh, it has a 350 Chevy small block in it and that's paired with a 700 R4 with a 373 rear end and pause attraction. So you have an automatic with overdrive in there. Goes down the road, beautiful. Uh, it does have power steering, power brakes, and there was some time and money spent on this build. The paint on it, absolutely beautiful shape. Condition of the car, very, very nice. The odometer reads uh, aftermarket gauges in there, but it reads 26, uh, 49, I believe it is, a little over 2,600 miles, which is believed to be the actual miles since the build. There's also a camper that if it is worked out in the price and they're priced together and it's negotiated that way, there is a camper available that goes along with this that's matching that I'm going to show you in a little bit here too. We'll also fire it up. Car sounds great, runs great, dries out beautiful. Interior is incredible in it also it's just it's just an overall really nice build it's where the exhaust exits the side of the car riding on american racing wheels this thing's got just a great look to it vinyl top on it two-tone paint orange pinstripe again paint's very very nice take a look at down the side of this how straight this thing is too all working gauges in it custom Gauge installation, radio up on the roof, beautiful headliner in the car. We'll get around to the interior too so you can see it in a second. I'm going to open this up too so you get an idea what the back looks like and how this is finished off. The tailgate that folds down. Just a very, very nice build. We got this from the second owner. He purchased it from the gentleman that helped with the build and had it built at the same time. Again, just look at down how straight the side of this car is, the condition of that paint. Very, very nice. Let me go ahead and pop this door, prop it open so you can see the interior. It does have uh, electric poppers since the handles have been shaved for that street, street rod look. But yeah, just look at the door cards. Power windows there you can see. Take a look at the carpeting, upholstery, how everything matches, center armrest. This car's made to cruise. It does have an automatic transmission with a ratchet shifter there. And like we said before, 700 R4. So it is an overdrive. Uh, even look at the steering wheel. The steering wheel matches the paint, the interior, the dash, exterior of the car. Right here is where your radio is installed. Headliner, everything just in beautiful shape. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you this gauge cluster. We did a very nice job with these two. Tack amateur up on the center. Fuel pressure, oil pressure, water temp, volts obviously. Video gauges. Speedometer, no odometer, it's fired up. So nice it starts and runs. Here's the radio installation up here. Just beautiful inside and out. Just look around so you can hear it. Nice little rumble to it. I'm going to quick turn this off so you can slip back to the camper here. Now, like I said, this was actually built to match the car and painted fenders to match. Um, we may sell them separate, or for the right uh, negotiated price, this could go with the car. Very nice wood teardrop camper, kind of era correct to match up with the car, as you can see. Been painted to match with the orange and the brown. Underneath the back here, there is a refrigerator freezer, as well as air conditioning. I can lift this, it's pretty heavy. At the same time, I can hold the camera. Can I show you? 
fridge, freezer, there's a stove, little uh, Coleman camping stove underneath there. AC obviously cools the sleeping area. Some custom pinstriping on the back. Window and screen on this side for some vent. Riding on the same wheels that the Nash Rambler Street Rat has. I'll open this up quick for you too. It's actually not a bad area in here for sleeping. Nice and cozy. Kind of tough to get the lighting in here. Some cupboard space. You get the idea if you want a street rod for going to events, actually camp in and stay in. This would be a nice rig for that. So like I said, discuss it with us. Maybe sold separate. We negotiate it out, sell it with the Rambler wagon. But anyway, you get the idea. Imagine how nice they look together. If you'd like to see still pics of the interior, underside of this car, engine bay, check out the still pics, uniqueclassiccars.com, or feel free to give us a call. Um, be happy to discuss this vehicle with you and or the camper, 507-386-1726.